Hey guys, Neuros here. Uh, yeah. That's how much area I have to fill in. Um, I'm on a ex uh, extreme render and it's unloading chunks already, you piece of shit. But, as you can see, this line right here is, uh, this side is what I filled in. This is the actual previous island. So you can see I filled in a lot and over there, which isn't showing, it's annoying. Uh, okay. Um, let me go. There we go. Nope. Nope. This is going to hurt. Oh, that felt good. Uh, I know, horrible FPS. I'm getting like 15 right now. And my bed's over there. Why did I just jump in that hole? So yeah, I found out you use slow things like your hand when breaking. Really? Um, current. Uh, this should be in 720p. This is my second time recording this because Fraps. I uh, updated Fraps from like. Th Four, three, four, or four something. I don't know. There's a four. I think it's three, four to three, five. Yeah. And yeah. So I filled all this in. Uh, it's like 20 blocks deep. Uh, this area. There's a wall right there. I filled, took all the clay out of here. Um. That. It, right there is going to be the platform. Up there is what I'm going to build the trap. It's going to be a sky trap. And uh, I'll clean those pillars up and lower the render and uh, show you guys that. Uh, so meet you over there. Okay, here we are back in my uh, test world. <laughs> Not much of a test world. I keep making new worlds every time, practically. But um, it's a collection point, really. Uh, ice underneath all this water here. Uh, 17 by 17, I believe. Except for the stone, that's 18 then. Uh, but, yeah. Th plan on making this, but um, this isn't that uh, super fast. It's highly efficient, just not that fast because there's not a lot of spawning platforms. Um, pressure plate sends transmission into that, into that block and that pushes out and... Uh, like so, he pushes you off, and you immediately fall down to your death. Um, so yeah, that's how that works. Uh, there's three of them. One, two, three. I tried to do it in the second layer, but for some reason, reason, they were actually surviving this fall, which is like 80 block drops. So I decided not do that and uh, expand this and everything. So. And they stopped surviving the falls. And so, yeah, that was good. Um, I like it because it's highly efficient, but I don't like the fact that there isn't a lot of spawning space. And due to the uh, limitation of eight blocks per thing of water, it's not like I can build a ton of these everywhere. So, and I can't really stack it either, which is a problem because they start surviving. So, um, I need to figure out how to make this better kind of cool it lights up every time they drop um i need to make, find out how to make this better so if you guys know how um make it bigger or whatever uh let me know slimes are bugging me so i filled it in oh yeah uh just real quick um i am uh yeah i was recording in extreme this is optifine setting so extreme is 512 blocks or meters and here it is, uh, full screen. Um, with you press F11 to get to full screen, but uh, Fraps kept on crashing on me every time I tried to f record in full screen. So the way I figured, well, I would hit record and then I would go to full screen and it would crash. So I found out that you first you load Fraps, of course, in Minecraft, and then when you're in Minecraft, you hit F11 to full screen. You Alt Tab out of Minecraft. 
and then hit F11 to go back into full screen and the little counter in the corner here uh, comes back and it, then you can record so I'm currently doing it 720p because uh, 720 because um, ten, my screen is actually 1080 but it's legs too much it's down at like 20 frames per second on normal as you guys seen in I think the last episode so yeah and I totally lied I didn't clear these pillars but it the screen to me looks uh, it's in full screen which is nice so I could play f normally but um, it's uh, looks kinda like 480p or something it's kinda crappy looking almost but yeah, yeah. Um, this is all the filled in area as you can tell by the line here and that's the old biome uh, whatever um, that's a new thing Uh, this hatch door, if you see it in my hand, will occasionally do a little weird thing. So, if I notice it, I'll point it out so you can rewind the video and check it out. Um, if not, maybe one of you guys will. So, the reason, but, um, these, uh, each layer has a bunch of hatch doors and there's a ton of portals within portals kind of thing. Um, in between each corner is glowstone. Um, I haven't finished light. Just a tree. I haven't finished lighting up the last two because I need uh, about a stack and a half of these, which are more I think to, per layer. Um, haven't done anything new in the Nether. Need to chop down a tree and hey, you guys. What the oh um, did some new wiring. I'll have them crushing for a bit. Hopefully that's not too loud right at the moment but because of all those hatch doors I got a cool chest uh chest hello oh, oh it's just doing it there it is you'll see him glitching and the hatch door to in my hand will do the same kind of deal and it's, yeah see it's because I have so many of the um hatches up above the only thing about about that pigment spawner my bad. Me bad. About that pigment spawner. The only thing that's bad, bad about it is uh, you have to actually be within range. You can't just have it in the distance kind of thing. You have to be within like spawning range, which is a little bummer. Um, all those chests, all the chests on this side are empty. Uh, that's empty. It's half full. These are full with dirt. Hopefully those guys are done crushing. I don't have the headphones part on, so I can't tell. Well, that's new. I haven't seen that before. <laughs> wow, that is weird. Um, yeah, dirt. Uh, let's see. Yeah, you can see the water is flowing off to that side. That block right back there is actually a uh, piston. Hey, pigman, with a piston on it, and uh, it changes the flow. There's a piston right here. That's the button. Hey, get out of the way. But yeah, he'll flow, but he cannot fit through. Um, hi. <laughs> um, there we go. Fixed it. You hit uh, 8 and F3 at the same time, and it'll reload. But you can see he can't go anywhere. And I have it so. Give me that real quick. Um. Nope. Eh. Uh, there's a piston right here, and then it blocks it off and changes the water flow. There's uh, ice there to make it mo smooth, uh, run faster, or so the uh, iron goes faster. Hey you guys, and I don't have a real means of killing them other than just smacking them. Whoa, leg spikes, weird. And of course, the sword has no arc back, which is retarded. I uh, originally had ice here, but it kept on like glitching out and is annoying. So I changed that. Thank you. And here's the water flow. You can see some of the redstone, but yeah, this is extended right. That block is a piston. But yeah, so right now it's set for the pigment just to come down here all willy nilly. Uh, occasionally, some of them will die just from falling and everything. Um, 
which is okay because it's got water currents just throughout the whole system practically to bring the items here. Already full? Oh, okay. Um, I don't need that, but I could use it right here. So, before pigment come down here. Um, garbage disposal. Uh, yeah. These are dirt, dirt, dirt. The remainder of my cobble, and same with those. Um, so yeah, um, I might be getting, I should hopefully be ordering a new hard drive, a one terabyte soon. Um, so I hopefully we'll have, you know, it might be making more videos, I don't know, because I'll actually have the space now. Um, well, not more often, but maybe, maybe a little bit more often. I'm not sure. Hopefully, that'd be nice. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, yeah, talk to you guys later. Bye.